Hi everyone, I just thought uh, I might do a quick video here on how I reduced the noise in this image. This is an image I shot for the Canon 1DX Mark III review video that I just put out, and I thought I would just quickly show how I processed it. So if you are familiar with my workflow from my ebooks, from my post-processing simplified ebooks, or from the Process With Me ebooks, you know that I love to use actions. And recently I've come to really love using um, this new program called Topaz Denoise AI. I really think that every bird photographer should be using that software. It's amazing for reducing noise. So let's take a look at some of its capabilities. Obviously this is an image, an extreme example of noise. This was shot at ISO 25600. But let's see what we can do here. I'm going to run my action. It is going to automatically launch us out into Topaz. Normally I find that I use the Denoise AI uh, module here. But I find with, I'm finding with, um, with this really high noise example that the um, AI clear actually works better. So if you look there, I put it, I put it on AI clear here and I manually changed it and I just put it up into the high mode. And if you look at what the result here, obviously it's not perfect, but look at the difference in, in noise considering the ISO that this was shot at. We could play around a little bit with this chroma situation. Let's just bump that up a little bit and see what happens, if that makes it any better. Not a big change, but let's go ahead and save that now. So it's going to go ahead and process this file. It takes a little bit because it's doing a lot of stuff. But look at that. I mean, pretty incredible. And I've set my action up to do it as a separate layer and then automatically apply a layer mask. That allows me to, if I felt like, for example, if I zoom into 100% here and if I felt like it had done too much, for example, that's the before and that's the after. If I felt like it had done too much sharpening on the bird or anything, I could go back and mask that back out. But I think in this case, given what it had to work with, it did a pretty decent job. So we would just continue with the action here. The next thing is to do some levels adjustments. I'm just going to check on those. Now I'm going to rip through this because this is not really the point of the video you can certainly find more information about writing actions and about how I do that in my other guides and videos. For now, we'll just see if we can get this guy polished up a bit, I think. Maybe we'll tone the highlights down. Saturation, definitely we need to bump that up a bit. We don't want the moss to look too crazy, but we probably want the bird himself, the reds, for example, those colors to start looking a little more, give them a little more something something and maybe we add a bit of contrast something like that and then we would just save the file so I, I'm just gonna save it on my desktop for now now if we wanted to really um, experiment here what I'm just this is full experimentation I'm not sure what it's gonna do either let's let's go um, I'm gonna make a separate layer here filter Topaz Labs, Topaz Denoise. I'm just curious to see what will happen if I actually go into it now in the normal Denoise AI um, and see how it looks running it again. Let's go ahead and do that and then see what it looks like um, if it actually cleaned up some of the little artifacts that were there. We're kind of then using both of its capabilities. So let's see, this is the after, that's the before. So yeah, definitely if you look in the background, it definitely cleaned up the artifacts a little bit more. But it did also sharpen the bird a bit more, probably too much. So this is an example where you could just simply add a layer mask, get our paintbrush black, we're painting at 50-ish percent opacity, and I could just mask that back out, the parts that I thought were getting too over sharpened. If we want to see where we've painted, we just hit the backslash arrow and we can see here that we can paint over the whole bird just to make sure he doesn't get too, too over sharpened. Maybe some of this moss down here too where there wasn't really noise but there's detail and the program might kind of start to over sharpen it a bit. So then now we can really see we're eliminating even more of that noise and the bird still looks pretty good. We could flatten it down and save it. Now if I told you that this image, of course I'm not saying this is perfect by any means, um, but if I told you that this image when we first started was shot at ISO 25600, you probably would not believe me. Um, if we go back here to where we started, look at that. Crazy noise, not only in the background, but also in the bird and the moss, and then boom, pretty good. So that's just a quick video just to show you the capabilities of Topaz Denoise AI and how I use it integrated into my normal workflow actions. Hope you enjoyed.
Have a great day, guys. Bye.